So my name is Tim Brown. I'm the president and CEO of Nestle Waters North America. I was here today to participate in a panel on food security and water scarcity. That water is valuable. Uh, we often take it for granted. We have a water crisis. Uh, we already use as much fresh water as we have uh, on the planet. And by 2030, we're going to have a def deficit of up to 40 percent of fresh water. We need to realize the value of water so we can start taking care of it better. And that starts with conservation. Well, we're the world's largest food company, and we need water to grow, grow food. Uh, and we're very concerned uh, for our future and having enough fresh water to grow the food to feed our consumers. It, it, many solutions, many ways. Uh, it's going to involve first uh, joint effort, public-private partnerships. Uh, it's corporations, NGOs, and governments all working together. Uh, we need to first raise awareness. Second, we need much better measurement systems to measure uh, uh, how much water is being used and how it's being used. Then those uh, figures need to be transparent. There's many ways to save water uh, and not or use water more efficiently. It, it, the best return on investment is going to come uh, in water savings and more efficient use of water. Long term, we can create more water for use, but that's very expensive. Uh, so we, we all need to work much more uh, clearly uh, in understanding the high value of water uh, and, and protecting it like an asset. Uh, it'll, it'll reap financial benefits, but it'll also uh, sustain uh, the food supply on the planet. It, it could be literally everywhere, and it's all relative, right? So there, there is waste in abundant areas uh, that has impact uh, because it, it impacts the watershed, uh, and, and, and ultimately it in, involves uh, impacting bigger water systems. Uh, we waste water by not using it efficiently. By some estimates, we use about two and a half times the water theoretically needed to grow the crops we grow today. There's better ways to irrigate. There's better rotations of crops. There's more efficient crops. Uh, we need to think about what crops we grow where. Uh, an industrial use, uh, we can uh, save water by using it more efficiently. We can treat wastewater. We can recycle water. And in cities, uh, we have huge issues with uh, water leakage in the water systems. Uh, and there's better and more innovative ways uh, to reuse water and conserve it. Uh, so there's, there's opportunity everywhere. Uh, it's most striking uh, in, uh, in, in water uh, scarce places uh, and some of the great work that's being done uh, in collaboration is in those places because it is such a clear need. Uh, but we, we have to take care of it everywhere and you'd be surprised. Uh, we have water uh, issues here in Canada. Uh, that need to be addressed. Uh, and and they, they tie very closely to climate change uh, because it is the whole ecosystem uh, of, of how we treat the land and what, it, what effect it has on the watershed. We have um, multiple ways we're involved. Uh, awareness is one of them. Uh, we're a big global company. We use our, our platform to talk about the water scarcity crisis and water issues, but it goes well beyond that. So we have a great impact um, on the supply community we deal with. We, we directly deal with 700,000 farmers. Uh, we can impact how they grow food. Uh, we deal with other big uh, either uh, uh, food converters, and we can deal with how, how they treat water. Um, we cooperate. Uh, and comply with local government uh, regulations. Uh, we think that sets a great example for our peer companies. Uh, we're involved in uh, many public-private uh, water projects around the world uh, that are going to be lighthouse examples of how we can treat, conserve, save, and create new sources of water. Um, so it's, it's really <clears throat> 
it's part awareness, but it's also high engagement uh, and, and really um, kind of setting the tone for, for where we have to go in the future. Well, we're not nearly where we need to be yeah. on water scarcity uh, awareness. Uh, so, you know, with the great awareness uh, that's been achieved in the last 15 years on climate change, um, water uh, scarcity and the quality of the water supply and access to water has lagged that from an awareness standpoint. Um, it's just as much, in fact, possibly a greater short-term crisis. By 2030, we're projecting a potential deficit of up to 40 percent of fresh water uh, to supply uh, both human needs and uh, agricultural needs. So uh, we really uh, need to get on solutions pretty quickly. There's, there's a great need, uh, but <clears throat> it's just now uh, getting uh, the platform it needs. And, and it's, it's on, if you look at uh, uh, multinational companies, you'll see water as, as one of uh, the top three issues that they're talking about. Well, it, it, tangentially, you know, the, the, the idea that um, we're going to fight over water uh, is it, it, probably a little bit simplistic. Um, in, in reality, um, that's going to be connected to food. Uh, because without adequate supply of water, um, the basic foodstuffs that people need will be either hard to get or quite expensive. That will be a cause of social unrest. Uh, I think we'll be able to deal with water. Uh, I think government's aware um, that it's a finite resource. Uh, I think uh, industry's aware. Uh, and so with this awareness, I, I think we will, it'll get the transparency it needs that it doesn't come to that, uh, that, w that we're literally fighting over a supply of water. Uh, what we need to do is find solutions uh, to treat it better. It's been a great conference. Uh, it's, it, I've learned a lot. Uh, I've met people uh, that have opened my eyes to some new issues. You know, I look at these things as uh, uh, an opportunity to learn, uh, to network, uh, and it's really encouraging for me to see the collaboration uh, and people coming from many different places and trying to work together on solutions.